Hello, hello, happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope we're not having the same issues that we had, audio issues that we had last time, but if they are, please let me know. Apologies in advance. I tried to do some testing out beforehand, and it sounded like, at least on my end, it was working, but whenever we hit that go live button, it's always a random, you know, <laughs> we, we didn't, well, we, you don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen just like opening up Pokemon packs. So we've got another two packs of loose Evolving Skies packs, and then we've got a building battle box. Last video, we started off with some insane first pack magic with this rainbow Leafeon that I'm gonna go grab right here and show y'all. So you haven't seen this one get pulled, definitely make sure you check out yesterday's stream where we pulled this right in our first pack magic it was insane i can't believe we've already got a rainbow pokemon we've got two rainbow cards from evolving skies so far because we also got that rainbow copycat so we're gonna see if the good luck can continue i've got good feelings about this set well, i don't know why i crossed my fingers for that i shouldn't have said i shouldn't have crossed my fingers when i was saying good vibes knock on wood to cancel that out so now the, the packs are falling over. I might as well just get into them before I start causing more chaos. I'll start off with the loose packs first and then we'll go into the build and battle box. Hey, Susan, glad to see you in the chat. And thank you very much. Thank you for letting me know that the audio sounds good on your end. I appreciate that. So let's start off and see if we can get some first pack magic. Umbreon is one of the cards that I really, really want to get in this set. And the Alt Art V Max is absolutely incredible. And there's also the Alt Art V, which is really nice too, but the V Max is definitely the one that I want the most. And then of course there is an alternate art Dragonite. So those are our two top chase cards for the set, but there's a lot of other really fun things to collect. There's also a rainbow Umbreon in the set as well. So maybe we can get that guy to go along with the Leafeon. Well, we're gonna get them all. We're gonna catch them all, as they say in Pokemon by the end of it, because this is a set that I am going for the master set on. And I was doing the math on it, and I realized, so there's 237 cards in the set, counting the secret rares. And then I think there's 165 reverses. So if you go for the master set, there's over 400 cards to collect. Now, what's the problem? Most binders, at least that I found, can only hold 360 cards. So... Hey, Pokemon Company, if you're wondering if the sets are getting too big, if they don't fit in the binders that you sell, then it's probably a sign that they're getting a little too big. So maybe for us, please zone it out a little bit, but I, if anyone else knows out there some binders that fit 400 cards or more, please let me know because I am on the lookout. I really like the binders with uh, not the, the metal rings because those can sometimes cards dents or dings in your cards when you're storing them, but I like the stitch binders where the the pages are actually stitched into the binding of the binder itself so we got treasure energy digging gloves if any of you know ha or have any recommendations for binders like that oh that can hold over 400 cards please let me know because i'm on the lookout palpitoad pedal bill hey the first pikachu on stream i pulled this earlier today in our short very, very beautiful artwork. And yesterday we got the Hollow Raichu. So very nice now to get the common Pikachu artwork. And I love this artwork for Pikachu. I think this is really great. I mean, not just the artwork of the Pikachu itself with the super red cheeks there, but even the background and the flowers fitting the yellow theme and the yellow of the card. I just think all around this is some incredible artwork. So, hey, Chibi did this one. Shout out to Chibi. They always do a fantastic job. Pumpkapoo. Pumpkaboo, I should say. And this is another one of those artworks where it's like the, uh, the Pokemon made out of like a real life object or like clay and then a photo of that. So I'm always a fan of those. Rufflet, Lotad, it's like the reverse, reverse drowsy. Ooh, some good colors on that reverse drowsy there. I really like that. I don't think we've pulled the Hypno yet. So I wonder if there is a Hypno in the set. And do we have some first pack magic again? No, we do not. We got Lilligant. But this is very, very nice artwork as well. This actually reminds me of our home here in Florida with all the palm trees and everything. Maybe Hawaiian vibes as well, but really good. Oh, Ryan Miller is saying that there is an audio echo as well. Shoot, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, I tested it beforehand and there wasn't an audio echo. So that's a shame that there is one, there's one live. That is a shame. I will have to do some more testing on that. I don't know why this just recently happened this week. I hope it's not an issue with my mic. Hmm. That is weird because I tested before this, I did like a recording and then just saved that. Hmm, started out good, but a little echo. Hmm. 
All right, well, I apologize. I'll have to do some more tweaking after the stream. But hopefully y'all can enjoy the cards as well. I'm wondering, the only thing new that I've done this week is added the music also in the Discord server that I'm with. So I'm wondering if it's echoing off of that. Um, I don't know though. Sorry. Fire energy, digging gloves, gonna have to carry on. Stormy Mountains and I will troubleshoot it after the stream. Shelgon, Litleo, Chinchou, Dino there. Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Reverse Hypno. Hey, we were just talking about it. I wonder if there's a Hypno set in the set, and I want to pull it, and here we go. It's like the pack heard me talking. If only the audio could do that. <laughs> it just picks itself. But we do at least have a Hypno, so pretty cool artwork. And since we got the Reverse Drowsy before, we can show those side by side. So we got now the reverse master set of the Drowsy and Hypno Evolution Chain there. Pretty cool. Nice to get that in just one opening. And then last card behind the Hypno, what do we have? Non-Hollow Shiftry, but very cool artwork on the Shiftry. I'm really, really liking this set overall. The artworks on the commons and uncommons are really, really nice. I, I might even like these over battle styles even. I, I really like this. I like how, the, I mean, the set's named Evolving Skies, and then they have a lot of skies in the background for the artworks I'm noticing, so I really like that. Moving on now into the build and battle box. We're gonna break this open, and so of course we've gotta see first if we're gonna get a new card out of the build and bo battle box. We've got the Galarian Articuno, and we've got the Flappy. So we need the Galarian Moltres now, or the Galarian Zapdos to get one more for the set. So let us open it up. We'll flip it open, and the moment we're gonna reveal... Oh, it is another Flappy. So we got doubles of the Flappies, but no worries. We can definitely give these ones away. If you haven't seen the Flappy before, here it is. This is an alternate artwork. There is another Flappy in the set as well, but just as a common or uncommon artwork. Can't remember exactly which one it is, but we'll start off with the Sylveon pack artwork. Very nice. There is an Alt Art VMAX. Sylveon, that is a secret rare to pull in the set that is absolutely incredible. This is one of the biggest chases in the set right now. So pull the code card to the side so I don't leak the color. Four from the back to the front. And we're starting off with a Darkness Energy. Tentacruel. Star Wars Hockey Fan says, uh-oh, a new set to punish Albino. Yeah, definitely. If you see me struggle through Stockholm Syndromes, that is my nickname for Battle, Sty battle Styles. Sorry, Stockholm Styles is what I call it, not Stockholm Syndrome. I was referencing Stockholm Syndrome, but uh, it, it, it's been a tough set to complete the master set of, and it's a lot smaller than Evolving Skies, so Evolving Skies should prove to be even more challenging, but hopefully that just means a more a longer hunt for you all to enjoy and watch as well. More boxes and products to open up, and that just means more chances for duplicates to give away as well. Scraggy, Bagon, Woobat, and let us see, Reverse Ampharos, oh, very nice, I love Ampharos, he's a really cool Gen 2 Pokemon, actually the evolved form of the Flappy, so very nice to get him as a Reverse, and then are we going to have the first hit, no, not Hollow Thievul, but some cool artwork on the Thievul as well, looks like he's got a stash of berries there, very fitting for the Thievul. I wonder, he's like a Robin Hood there. He's stolen all the berries from the other trainers and now he's just kept them for himself and he would give out to his other Pokey friends. So some fun artwork in this set so far. That's three packs. We got three more to go. We're at the halfway point for the video. Let's see if we can get a hit. We got Umbreon opening up the pack. And I will try and not leak the code card, put it to the side. I will be doing all the code cards at the end, so if you are interested in the code cards, make sure you stick to the end for one of those. We got Leaf Energy. Ampharos was a workhorse for me way back in the day on my first gold and silver playthrough. Actually, honestly, me too, Ryan, though, a great point. And actually, that is something that Ruth Pokemon also did as well. So the three of us all have that in common, that we fans of the Ampharos, and yeah, he's a powerhouse for sure. Really cool Pokemon. I love Pokemon that have three evolution forms. So he starts off as the Marit, then he evolves into the Flappy, and then the final form is the Ampharos. We got the Hitmonchan there, Fletchling. Tentacool. Hey, 
Yay, another Pikachu. Always love pulling a Pikachu. I think that's going to give some extra value to this set. Just the fact that there is a Pikachu in here to pull. I think, you know, even 20 years from now, people will be opening up Evolving Skies for this Pikachu. That's my prediction for the day. C dot. Got some fireworks in the background of that C dot. Or maybe they're just fireflies. Crystal Cave, reverse, and then do we have the first hit? Oh, we do! And a Dragon type at that. Very cool. Hydreigon, a Gen 5 Pokemon introduced to Pokemon Black and White. Here you can see in the corner, we got the claw marks for the, for the dragon. And then they've got the dragon symbol in the middle to really celebrate the return of the dragon cards in these sets. This is a very, very nice pull. Very, very cool Pokemon. It is a dark type as well. And it was one Pokemon that I wanted to catch in my playthrough of Pokemon Black and White. But unfortunately, you don't get a chance to catch the uh, first form until super, super far into the game. Like by the time that already you're going to have a full team. I think it is like right before you battle the Elite Four, you're going to have a chance to get one. And I can't remember if it's Victory Road or like another cave that gets opened up on the side like as an optional route that you have to go back to before the, the Victory Road. But either way, it's at the very, very end of the game. So I did end up going with Haxorus as my Dragon type. Lightning Energy, Dream Ball, Zinnia's Resolve, Big Pokemon event with new uh, tomorrow with news for the games. Yes, yes, Star Wars Hockey fan, I did see that. So there is a Pokemon Presents if any of you are interested in the Pokemon video games where they're going to be revealing some more information about Arceus, the new RPG game that's coming out that's an open world Pokemon game, looks really, really cool. And then also the brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Gen 4 remakes that are coming out for the Switch in November, which I would definitely like to play on the channel, live stream that. Choose Napoleon as my starter since we pulled so many of the alternate artworks. We've got Reverse Toy Catcher, and now can we bat follow it up with back-to-back -back hits? WAIT! WHAT?! I WAS JUST JOKING! AND IT LOOKS LIKE WE DID! IS THIS A FULL ART?! OH MAN! WE DID GET A BIG HIT! ALRIGHT, I'M GONNA FLIP IT. WOW! THE LUCK HAS BEEN KILLED IN THIS SET! OH MAN, THIS IS GONNA BE... OH! NOIBURN! MAN, THIS IS AN AWESOME POLL! I'M GONNA SLEEVE THIS UP. THIS IS ONE OF THE ONES THAT ACTUALLY uh, Star Wars Hockey Fan was talking about he wanted to pull the alternate art of, so I will have to show that as well, but this is sick! Wow! We got another big hit! The big hits just don't stop! I think actually, and this is not kidding, I think, uh, you know, barring the pre-release, every day that I've opened up Evolving Skies, we've gotten either a full hit or a rainbow. And some days I'm literally just opening up one pack. This is insane! And I love the colors on this Noivern. And actually, I was watching Pokeballer Mike stream the other day, and he was mentioning how he pulled this one recently, and he really, really loved the colors on it. And I have to agree, in person, it really pops. This is a striking card. Awesome. This is a super, super sick pull. So we're just killing it on the Master Set. So maybe this one will... You know what? No, no, I take it back. I'm not going to finish that. I'm going to knock on wood. We're not going to finish that thought. You all know what I was about to say, but just forget about it and let's move on. Insane pull. No even be. Wow. We're getting super lucky with this set. I'm super grateful. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. So we got one more pack to go, but wow, we already got two really, really good hits. So... I think I don't think we can expect another hit, but let's see what artworks we can pull. See if we can get some new artworks we haven't seen so far. Thank you so much, Star Wars hockey fan Ryan Miller and Susan for cheering on that hit. Yeah, that was an awesome hit. I can't believe it that we just got another big hit card. That is insane. <laughs> so forward from the back to the front. Fighting energy, the good luck charm of the channel. Can we get another one? Rebombi, Flappy there, Pyroar. Petalil, Dino, Vivas, Teddy Ursa. Oh, so cute. I love this Teddy Ursa artwork. One of my favorites in the set so far. Hop it. Reverse Dino. And can we get another hit? No, we got the Appleton. I think last video we ended up last pack with an Appleton too. But no problem at all because we got some insane pulls. So I will show this hollow Hydreigon that we got. That was our first hit in the video 
And then the second hit for the video was this insane Noivern B. And I have to stop and just make a comment right now. I'm gonna flip over the back here. I am really liking the print quality that we're seeing so far out of Evolving Skies. This is off-center. The, as you can see here, the left side is thicker, and the, uh, the bottom and the top are, are pretty even. But definitely, it's like the card got shifted over a little bit, because this whole left side of the card is, is thicker than the right side over here. But still, really, really good quality. I mean, I, probably the centering is like an 8, but everything else, maybe an 8.5. But everything else looks like a 9, 9.5, maybe even 10 candidate. So overall, this is like probably a 9, because the lowest, you know, the centering is going to bring it down. But overall, really, really good card. Maybe even 9.5 just because of how clean the other elements of the card is if they do decide to give it an 8.5 for centering. But just trying to get a little practice in. Very, very nice card pull. And then for those of you that were interested in the code cards, without further ado, we will show those off. So I hope you all can get some good pulls out of the code cards. I will try to cover up the code for some of them so that bots don't steal these. And if you're watching, please just grab one code card so that other people that are watching can get a chance at the polls as well. And I got a question for all of you for the question of the day. Are you going to be playing Pokemon Brilliant Pearl or, or sorry, Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl? the new Gen 4 remakes. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in playing those games when they come out in November. And as a little addition, let me know if you'd be interested in watching a stream of that, because that is definitely content that I am looking to bring to the channel and want to start streaming other video games as well. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the hits, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you could give the video a like, if you're new to the channel, I would greatly appreciate if you could hit that sub button I thank everyone for hitting our recent 100 sub milestone. So that means we're off to 200. And I have a very, very special giveaway plan for this up to 200, which I'm going to keep a secret, at least for now, from Ryan and Star Wars Hockey Fan and all you as well, until I can get that card in. But when the, when the giveaway card comes in, I will show it off at the right time. It's going to be awesome, and y'all are going to be really, really excited. And I will give you one little teaser for it. It is a vintage card. This Ruth Pokemon has hooked us up with some awesome vintage cards lately, and it's been so exciting to pull on the channel. I want to hook you all up with a vintage card as well. So vintage cards, I'll say. For 200, probably going to be one, but it's going to be a very big hitter. I think it would be more fun to give away a super, super big hitter card. So look at me going. I'm just revealing everything. So I got to cut myself off before I spoil the surprise. But of course, we will also be continuing to give away the modern duplicates that we pull on the channel. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace out. And I will see you all Thursday for another six packs of Evolving Skies. And we'll see if we can get another big hit. The luck doesn't stop. Peace out, everyone.